literally finally in my prime, doing well, doing great, finally having time to breathe, and all of a sudden, everything is canceled. Like, literally everything. And I don't want to sound insensitive because people are literally dying. Hi guys, so sorry about the background. I don't really know what's happening right now. I'm still getting my room together and everything, so I feel like I need to film by a desk because this is like a productivity video, you know what I mean? So yeah, sorry about the background, but today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to transition to online classes. Um, so I, just a little background about my education. I graduated from high school last year because it's 2019. Mm, um, and I'm a pre-nursing major. Um, my end goal is to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. And I have been taking community college classes for a year. I started my first class, which was online, um, when I was a senior in high school, my uh, second semester of high school. So I've been taking online classes for about a year now. And for people who take online classes, this transition really isn't that big of a deal because we're kind of used to it. But for people who aren't used to it, it can be really, really hard at first. And another reason why I got inspired to this video is because I've actually a couple of my friends have reached out to me and asked me kind of like, hey, like Sav, I know you've been taking online classes. Like, how do you? prioritize school while being at home because I know for a lot of people home is a distraction um, for me a big thing is that like I work a lot so when I come home I'm in like relax mode when we're quarantined inside of our houses and we have to do college work and exams and stuff it's really hard to kind of force yourself to work so I just have a couple tips on how to transition to online classes so I want to make this video quick because I, do, I don't want to distract you guys because I know y'all got homework to do and you can apply these tips if you're in high school, middle school, honestly, like college. Also guys, look at my new Starbucks cup. Isn't it so cute? My first tip is to make a schedule for yourself. I function really well when I kind of have my days planned out. So I'm not saying you need to do like minute by minute, hour by hour kind of scheduling. If that's something that stresses you out, then don't do that because then you're gonna be holding yourself like to a standard all day and you're gonna be stressed out and it's not gonna be fun. And you're not gonna get anything done because you're gonna procrastinate and it's gonna be this whole mess inside your mind. So make a loose schedule. So like maybe have like at eight o'clock, I'm gonna wake up. At like 10 o'clock, I'm gonna log on to Canvas or whatever school service you use and do work for like two hours. And then at 12 o'clock, have lunch and then like have a little break. And then at three o'clock till five, do more homework. A schedule will kind of give you something to like go off of and loosely follow. Um, that way you'll kind of stay on track with what you need to do and you can even make it as specific as you want or like as loose as you want If you're somebody who gets stressed out by like times and deadlines then maybe don't do a really super strict one But if you're somebody who needs structure me going to class gave me that structure and not having that anymore Really hits different and not in a good way So my second tip is to make yourself a workplace with no distractions So I recently redid my room if you want to see how I did that I have a video on it It's a really good one just saying it doesn't, I'm not saying you need to go redo your whole entire house or your whole entire room to make a place that you enjoy being in or um, you don't have to enjoy being in it, but just a place that you can be productive. So if it's like a desk, if it's like um, even the floor, if you like sitting on the floor and doing work, totally do that. Like just gets a hard surface you can write on. Um, just somewhere where you're comfortable, but not too comfortable. Like don't sit in your bed. I really don't recommend doing that because your bed is one place that just needs to be focused on relaxing um, because you gotta just be able to unwind at night and just relax. Um, so I recommend having a table of some sort. It could be your dining room table. It could be a desk in your room. It could be a table in your garage. I don't know. Um, we're all kind of at home right now, so I know it's hard for people um, to kind of find a place, but just find a nice flat open surface. Put a candle there, put a salt lamp there, a diffuser, something that will help you kind of like relax and kind of hone in on what you're doing. And then make sure you have a whole bunch of little like pens, pencils. I also recommend gum. For some reason, I don't know what it is about chewing a piece of mint gum, but like it makes me focus so much more. It might just be like a mental thing. Cute little things to keep all your stuff organized and you know coffee mugs um another thing is get some blue light glasses because these things when i'm staring at a computer all day are essential and i think they're really cute too i got these for two pack off amazon so i'll leave them linked down below um crucial thing now that we're all going to be on our phones and computers all day doing homework 
um, definitely get you some of those. I have noticed a huge difference. I don't have any headaches anymore because of them, so. And with the no distractions part, don't bring your phone with you. I know people with Apple devices, like your messages sync up to your iPad and your MacBook and like all of your devices, your watch. Put them all on do not disturb, okay? You can make it two hours without seeing notifications. This third tip, they, you have to be a certain kind of person to do this, but it's the time batch. So I watched Adrian Finch's vlog about this, not vlog. She did like a video on this. My knees are hurting, I'm sitting on my knees. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, Adrian Finch, she did a great video, which I will link down below for you guys to watch. And instead of kind of just like, as I was saying earlier, like, oh, I'm gonna start my homework, but then answering texts, looking through, through Instagram and stuff like that during the time that you need to be doing your homework, um, you're really just prolonging the work you have to do and you're kind of just messing up your productivity so time batching is where you literally you write down all the things that you need to do and then you just kind of put them into chunks of your day so if you have to do like the dishes or something this isn't even about like um just like schoolwork, but like just having a schedule for your day if you want to work out like wake up work out only work out don't go on your phone don't look at your messages don't look at open your laptop like don't do any of that just work out do everything you need to do and then that's it so you can move on from that when you're done you're done and you move on to the next thing um you definitely have to be careful with this one though because you can become like obsessive about it and then it's not really productive anymore so just suck it up and get started and once you get yourself in a routine it won't even like be like forced anymore it'll just come naturally to like kind of do your work and get your life together you know what i mean if that makes sense it kind of sounds harsh i guess but my fourth tip um to transition to online school is to take breaks Guys, you cannot do homework all day. Like I have done that before, let me tell you, I've done that. One time I came home from a little trip on the weekend and I did statistics for literally 10 hours. That is not good for you because not only are you spending so much brain power on one subject, but you, like, I don't know about you guys, but I can't stay focused on one subject, especially if it's a subject I don't like. If it's a subject that I like, then I can totally do that without any problems, but like, you need to give yourself a break because if you stare at the same math problem for like two hours and look up all these tutorials on to do it and you just have no idea what you're doing, but you just sit there and stare at it, is that really helping you? You might as well just move on to the next question or even go to do different homework for like a different subject and then kind of take a break and then go back to it. But not even taking a break by going to other subjects, but just like, Give yourself like 15, 10 minutes, like 15, 10, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, five minute breaks in between. You're like, so if you're doing like a three hour study session, study for 45 minutes, give yourself a 15 minute break, study for 31 minutes and give yourself a 10 minute break. Like give yourself breaks because it's gonna kind of like recoup you and like, and I mean, at the end of the day, like you are home. So like you don't need to be like all the time. So along with taking breaks, another good tip is to, I think this is the fifth tip, is to go to different places in your house. So this is kind of back to making a workplace that you like with no distractions, but honestly, um, I'm somebody, look, if I'm working all day, I need to like move, change my scenery, otherwise I'm gonna get bored and like start getting distracted. I know this is kind of contradicting like the past like three points I made, but I think you know what I'm trying to say. Like you need to move around a little bit. In the morning, you work at your desk in your room and then um, when, after lunchtime, after you had your little break, after you had got to recoup, kind of just like get yourself together, then you can go up to the living room, work at the table, um, then take another break and then go move to the uh, outside, out back. Being outside right now is a really good idea, not like leaving your house, but like, especially on the days that it's really nice outside because this is such a nice time of year weather-wise, um, unless you live in Maryland like me and like it's rainy and then like sunny the next, so it's kind of hard to predict the weather, but ow, my knees are hurting. <laughs> So my sixth tip is, of course, my favorite, um, and that is to have a planner. So guys, I have watched Kenzie Elizabeth's videos for literally forever, and she always talks about a passion planner. So um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen last week that I um, posted on my story about passion planner because basically they were giving away their planners for free if you paid for shipping. So I got this huge planner. I got the Black 2020 Dated Planner, and I'm so excited because I haven't wanted one of these for literally years. And I got it for seven dollars um, and this is what it looks like so I got the big one that's like huge because I am pretty much a digital student now so well we all are I guess but like I have my iPad and then I have my MacBook so I did want something big to write on and write everything out and I feel like a big planner would be really nice just kind of switch things up because I'm used to having like little a5 like bullet journal size stuff what I love about passion planners is like their setup I've tried recreating this on my iPad but it's just not the same as having a physical copy I haven't written this one yet by the way um, because I just got it like two days ago but what I love about passion planners is that it's like a timed like schedule 
so I think it's by every 30 minutes. So it starts at 6 a.m. and it goes all the way until 10.30 p.m., which is perfect because some days I have to wake up at 6 o'clock, some days I don't, some days I stay up till super late doing work, some days I don't. So it's really customizable. But I'm not saying you have to go out and buy a planner. Like if you have a notebook, you can just write down your schedule that way um i definitely recommend having like a weekly kind of thing though you can go to target and get like little like weekly um whiteboards you can get a piece of paper and just write monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and write your tasks for it i also have an ipad um if i talk about my ipad one more time i know i'm sorry i'm annoying, but i have um hello yeah but i have this little note where i just do like wednesday march whatever and then i write down my tasks and like extra stuff that i want to do i also made another one where did I do it? Oh, I made this one. Um, super cute. It's literally, I went on Pinterest and typed in bullet journal spread ideas and then I just made one on my iPad. So yeah, it's really customizable. You can do whatever you want. You don't need to buy an iPad. You don't need to buy a planner. Just write it down somewhere. You can even do post-it notes. Whatever works better for you. Um, do it so the last tip that i have for you guys is to be kind to yourself okay this is a situation that literally i'm only 19 so i've never seen this happen in my lifetime our parents have never seen this happen in the lifetime like nobody could have ever possibly seen this coming so i know especially if you perfectionists out there who really care about your grades i know this is like hard to that like really be out of control but you know life happens and if you get a bad grade if you get a grade that you don't normally get when you're in class it's not the end of the world like we're on online classes things are different especially if you're not used to that and you depend on like the in class um like lifestyle for structure and stability it's totally okay if things are going exactly how you want them to but i want this video to be able to way to kind of help you get back on track because i know y'all had your, your we were finally getting our schedules together we were finally like you know feeling confident and comfortable in our lives finally like getting the hang of our professors and our classes and what we had to do and then miss rona came in and said y'all thought you knew what you were doing i'm here to ruin it and she did but you also have to kind of remember that like people are also dying um so i know you could be upset it's totally valid to be upset about everything that's happening but also at the end of the day all of this is happening for our own safety and so i know it sucks but we just have to make the best out of it so in this video i wanted to help you guys um i just want everybody to feel better about the situation that we're in right now because there's really nothing we can do we're out of control and <laughs> when it comes to school and stuff i like being in control and being in the know and just being confident and ready and prepared but life isn't always like that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned some tips from this and yeah if you guys have any questions in the comments if it's about pre-nursing major stuff because a lot of people have been asking about that if you guys want a video on that i will totally do that one for you um and just online classes in general i would love to help you guys my intentions are very pure i just want to help you guys out so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below because um nobody really comments on my videos so yeah so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.